it's David McPhail. I'm an author. I write books for a living. Isn't that fantastic? And I am uh, talking to you today uh, in order to introduce myself and also to answer a few questions. What I thought might be interesting is if you could see where I work. Um, this is my uh, study and this is where I do all my writing. I'm going to show you my workstation. Um, here it is. This is where I do all my writing. Uh, it's not very impressive. I do apologise. Uh, this is the place where I do all my, uh, where I write all my books. What I want to show you is <clears throat> the most important book that we writers have uh, when we're doing our work. And it's this one here. Uh, this sits right beside my workstation. I use it all the time. It's a Collins Dictionary and Thesaurus. It's very, very useful. So yeah, this is where I sit and I, I do all my books. Isn't it fantastic? I, I write them down. I actually have two desks here. I've got two desks to work at. One of them I use for uh, writing stuff down uh, in pen and paper. And the other one I use for tapping things up on my keyboard. Uh, and that's the way I generally work. I write things down on paper first and then I transfer them over uh, into the computer. <clears throat> I also have a couple of questions that I have to address. Uh, the first question is, uh, who is my favourite author? My favourite author of all time is without doubt Mary Shelley. Uh, Mary Shelley wrote the book Frankenstein, which I'm sure you've heard of. Mary Shelley lived about 200 years ago, and she was way, way ahead of her time. Um, she was writing uh, the kind of book that, even if it was produced today, people would think was groundbreaking. Frankenstein is without doubt my favourite book. Um, another of my favourite authors, actually, is Robert Louis Stevenson, and he wrote books such as Kidnapped and Treasure Island and... One of my favourite books uh, to go along with Frankenstein is uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, he wrote that one as well. I love his writing too. Um, the other question I've been asked to, to answer is what were my favourite books when I was aged eight? Um, as you can see, I'm not aged eight anymore. Um, I'm a bit older than that. When I was eight, that's a long time ago. So uh, my favourite books around about then... Um, I had a lot of favourite books. I did a lot of reading when I was eight. Uh, I do remember a book that was called Washington and the Marrow Raiders by this children's author called Tessa Qualey. She was great. Um, the other book I remember is uh, Robert Westall's uh, The Watchtower. I remember reading that one. All these books I read with such a feeling of excitement. There's nothing like it. Uh, reading a book for the first time, nothing like it at all, <clears throat> especially when you're at that age. Uh, another book I really enjoyed uh, around that time was a book called Witch Week by Diana Wynne-Jones. I don't know if any of these books are still in print or anything, whether you can still buy them. But th these were all really great books. That's the great thing about children's writing. Um, there's so many, so many great, great books. And, uh, you know, so many of them, I don't... I don't think you don't see them in the shops anymore, which is quite annoying. And I also remember uh, Eric Morecambe, who was a great comedian. He wrote this book called The Reluctant Vampire, and it was a funny book. And I really, really enjoyed that. I do remember, I do remember reading that one. And the other question I've been asked is, what was I reading when I was age three? Well, that's a tricky one. I had to ask my mom because I don't remember, uh, and she didn't remember either. But I do actually have one of those books. I don't have it with me, but I still have a copy of a book I read, uh, I was read to me around that time. And it was actually a book called Haunted House by Jan Pienkowski. And this is a great book. It's a pop-up book, which I, I used to read. I flicked through for years and years, even when I was aged eight. It's a terrific book. And I think you can still get it. I would thoroughly recommend it as a pop-up book. Really, really good. Uh, the final question I've been asked is, if I was a character from a book, which character would it be? Uh, and I thought about this, and um, I think the character I'd quite like to be is... Um, I love history, so I'd quite like to go back to Roman times. One book I really remember was uh, a book called um, The Eagle of the Ninth by Rosemary Sutcliffe. Rosemary Sutcliffe, yes. And uh, the main character in that book, I think, was called Marcus. And he was back in Roman Britain, seeking... Uh, a lost Roman standard, an eagle standard. 
and him and his slave uh, went through Roman Britain to try and find it. I'd quite like to be that. I'd quite like to go back to Roman Britain and, and do that. I think that would be great. Um, so there's all my questions answered. You've seen where I work. Here it is once again. This is where I create all my stories. Um, and uh, I hope to be speaking to you again sometime. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.